Hey, crew, Mark Hatmaker here and Dan Marks. Hey, how's it going, man? Right. How's your weekend? Good. All right, that's enough. Um, again, you know, our, make sure we're clear in our perspective here. Uh, we're, we're throwing a bunch of uh, self-defense tactics out there. Most of ours is coming from a historical recreation, old school boxing, old school wrestling, old school frontier, rough and tumble combat, nothing sportive about it, all meant to be mean. Uh, let's discuss a particular striking tactic from the early days of bare knuckle with something called the chopper. It comes to us from a pugilist named Jack Slack, whose nickname, a ring name, was the Norfolk but Butcher. Uh, that's because he was a butcher from Norfolk. Uh, it took a lot of creativity uh, there. He was a short fighter, strong fighter, but uh, he packed a wallop and his primary shot was called the chopper. This is no longer legal, and that's why it kind of floats my boat and I love it. Uh, it's basically a strike with the bottom of the fist. That is the chopper. You know, it's interesting how he would set it up, though, because since he was a short stature, and uh, if he was, uh, since he had range deficiencies, uh, meaning everyone had longer limbs than him, he would come up with kind of a variation of what we might think of as a Philly roll. Not nearly as elegant, but it's this double covered up position right here. So he's keeping, he's looking out, peeking out of the top, preserving his nose, his eye sockets, he's preserving his teeth, comes in in this manner right here. Now, what he wanted to hit with it is this bottom fist, this, this top hand would curl off and he would have a lunge because remember, he's from the outside, so he had to cover range. So we're here, this stands in uh, for Dan's head, moves in, this big, hairy outside fist from here. She just uncovers it from here. And that is basically a chopper, but that's not specifically according to the record how he was throwing it only because there's a tendency to think of it only being throwing as a single. He's covered up, so one good turn deserves another. So what he's doing is he's stepping in. Chopper allows this weight, to, the inertia to pull him. Then you got the second one that pulls out at the same time. So you're basically gonna have a collision going on. We'll do this super slow. So we'll see, as I hit it this way, that head's already moving this way, and that means that collision, this is a head-on collision here. So it's not like I'm hitting it and having to chase it. You're kind of knocking it into the next fist. So we'll have a clumsy look on the shield. We'll put it back up here. Here, you're gonna have it like, chop through as it moves through. Your job is not to uh, uh, look for elegance with it, just understand the wisdom of how he was using it was to step in, swing for the fences, and then swing back, and sometimes this bites nothing, but the inertia starts pulling you back into a standard stance. You don't have to throw it from here, but you can, because it's so easy to move off of your standard boxing or street self-defense stance and immediately quasi uh, Philly cover, throw that chopper. You can throw a single if you want to, but throwing the second one on top of it, Every time we tra train with it, you just don't see that one coming. You, even if we know it is training and it happens, you see the one, you either move or juke or jive out of the way, but you're leaning right into that other one. So that's what makes it so sweet. Thanks for watching our video lessons here at TRS Direct. Hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to our channel here on YouTube. Hit the bell icon and we'll send you a notification when there's a new lesson available. Thanks again for watching.